So today I'm talking about a P0141 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0141 code? Well, it's an O2 sensor heater circuit malfunction bank one sensor two. And what does this mean? Well, there's sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that goes into the engine. And then the second thing they do is they also have heater elements built in. And this does a few things. It helps the system go into what's called a closed loop quicker. So with the P0141, one code the onboard computer seeing a problem with these oxygen sensors so it's going to, have to be troubleshooted to know why and some possible causes of a p0141 code well it could be a bad oxygen sensor could be in the wiring like an open or short could be a blown fuse and it could also be an exhaust leak so be sure to keep a lookout for any exhaust leaks since if the exhaust is leaking it can throw these sensors off so be sure to keep that in mind and so the basics of what's going on with these oxygen sensors is that sensor one is going to be located before the catalytic converter and it's going to be called the upstream oxygen sensor and sensor two is going to be located located after the catalytic converter and it's going to be called the downstream oxygen sensor and there can't be two oxygen sensors there could be four oxygen sensors sometimes there could be more it's really going to vary it's going to depend on the vehicle the engine type the year and things like this so it's always a good idea to go get a diagram of where all the oxygen sensors are located on your particular vehicle it just makes it easier and the one you want to go and locate is going to be bank one sensor two and so for example here's a 2007 Camry with the 3.5 liter v6 and as you can see bank one sensor two is right here it's down on the exhaust and it's located after the catalytic converter that the first thing to do is locate the oxygen sensors on your vehicle and mainly this bank one sensor two oxygen sensor since this is the one the onboard computer seen a problem with after you locate that bank one sensor two oxygen sensor check out the wiring real good be sure nothing looks like it's damaged or anything and basically just keep in mind anything wrong with the wiring a bad connection open short anything going on there is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor so you want to keep that in mind also keep in mind that these can be on a fuse and sometimes a relay. For example, here's a 2012 Toyota Camry and they have them labeled as AF sensors. Those would be the ones right there. They're on this fuse number 33. And if that was the blow, then it would cause some problems. Here's another example of a 2006 Toyota Tacoma. And right here, it's labeled AF heater. And this one also has a relay right here, AF heater relay. And if those went bad, then it could cause an issue. So it's just something to keep in mind. And so if you gone through and you checked out the wiring and that looks good, there's no blowing fuses or anything like that. And the next thing to do is either test or replace this oxygen sensor the heater side of these is fairly easy to test if you have a multimeter basically what's going on with these sensors is that the same two colored wires are going to be for the heater element and the mismatch wires are going to be for the oxygen sensor and the heater element is kind of like a light bulb then usually when it goes bad it just blows out even though you can get the rated ohms for it and check it that way also but usually if you could test for continuity on the same two colored wires then it'll show whether or not it blew out or not I made a video on how you go about testing these I'll put a link down below if you want to check that out more but basically to test them you unplug it you find the same two colored wires and then just test them for continuity and see if that heater element blew out or not. A lot of people would just go and replace that bank one sensor two oxygen sensor. One thing to keep in mind when replacing these O2 sensors is that sometimes you need a special tool to get them out and get them back in and get around that wire. Not all the time. Sometimes they are out in the open. Sometimes they are recessed down into the exhaust where you need this special tool to get around that wire and get them back in. So basically go and look at it and see what it looks like if you got the right tools to get it off. Otherwise, when you go to get a new oxygen sensor, be sure to get that special tool. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0141 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.